Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming uh, this week. Uh, the Apostle Paul was a prolific writer. He's considered one of the great, ten greatest minds of, uh, throughout history. Uh, of all the writers of the New Testament, he wrote the most. He wrote 13 out of the 27 New Testament books. His last book was written to a disciple named Timothy. It's at the end of his life. He knows he's going to die. And he writes Timothy who's in Ephesus. Paul is in prison in Rome. Most of his friends have left. And he says, please, come quickly. He says, bring me the cloak that I left with Carpus. It's getting cold. He wants his jacket. And bring the books and the parchments. Uh, Paul's a writer. Most prolific writer of the New Testament. And, and then his last line, he says, do everything you can to come before winter. Well, why come before winter? Because in the Mediterranean in those days, uh, at a certain time in the late fall, uh, the navigation would close down. And they'd have no more ships until the spring. So if Timothy didn't come soon enough, he wouldn't be able to see Paul for maybe six months. And in that time, Paul might have been executed by the Romans. So he's saying, do everything you can to come before winter. Otherwise, you might not see me again. Now, I'd like you just to turn to someone in your group and share a time when you had an opportunity. Maybe it was in business. Maybe it was a dating relationship. Uh, maybe it was a family thing. Maybe it was sports or music. But you didn't take the chance. You delayed. And you missed the opportunity and have never gotten it again. Share that with somebody. Uh, I go to visit people in hospitals who are dying. It's part of being a pastor. I've, I've met with many people whose backs are against the wall uh, they know they're in their last days. It's interesting the things they want to talk about. There really aren't too many things. Usually there's only two things people want to talk about. They want to talk about their relationships with people and their relationships with God. With people, it's stuff like, ah, I wish I uh, could take a mulligan on what I do with my son. They're worried about that. You know, they're out of sync with their family. Or maybe they're wanting to tell me things are going great, but often it's, I'm concerned about my mates or my parents or whatever. The other thing they want to talk about is their relationship with God. Where do I stand with God? When I die, what's going to happen to me? Well, that makes sense. That's really what life's all about, isn't it? Our relationships with people and our relationships uh, with God. Um, this Sunday is going to be Easter, and I'm going to talk about come before winter. Certain things we have to do now, we can't wait on. I hope you bring a friend, somebody you know, neighbor, you work with them, classmate, family member. Odds are they don't go to church, probably don't know Christ. My message on Easter is usually designed for your friend. So I hope you bring somebody with you. All right, have a great study.